G'day, can you solve this easy multiplication question instantly? And I mean instantly, so the moment it's revealed, you tell me the answer. Here goes, 57 multiplied by seven. Okay, what's the answer to that? Did you get the answer of 399? I hope so, because that is the correct answer. But if not, sit up straight and pay attention, because I'm gonna show you right now the easiest way of doing this type of question, which by itself is useful, but it's also an essential part of mentally calculating much larger numbers, which we're going to be doing in some upcoming videos. And you might see that link in the description below. So the most important thing when we're working out this type of question is we're going to be doing these questions a little bit different to how you've learned at school. We're going to be, instead of going starting at the units and going that way, we're going to be moving left to right. We're going to be multiplying left to right. Why is this? Well, there's two reasons. First off, we read numbers left to right. 399, we read left to right. We also think about numbers from the left to right. So it makes sense when we're trying to calculate them mentally that we're also going to be doing that left to right. Second of all, you can start to say your answer out loud before you finish the calculation. And it's going to seem like you're doing them much faster than you actually are. So enough of me rabbiting on. Let's do this. Let's look at our example, 57 multiplied by seven, and I'll show you how to do this left to right. So pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're gonna be multiplying first off this five times seven. This is a 50 here, so this is 50 times seven. Five times seven is 35, so 50 times seven, that gives us an answer of 350. And that's the first number that you hold in your head, not very hard. The second step is we're just gonna multiply this seven times seven. Seven sevens are 49. And finally, what we're going to do is we add these. So 350 plus 49, we get our answer, 399. So how's that? It's as easy as promised, right? Now, what you'll notice is this. When you first do these calculations, you may need to actually say these numbers as you go along, 350, 49, as you work it out. And you might not actually be instant. You might take 10 seconds, five seconds, but that's okay. The more you practice this, the faster and easier you'll be able to calculate the whole lot in your head. So what about a few examples for you? So what about we do 48 multiplied by four. The next one we'll do is 67 multiplied by five. We'll then go through and we'll do 69 multiplied by six. Uh, we'll then go through and do 78 multiplied by nine. And finally, we'll go and we'll do 83 multiplied by seven. So pause the video and give these a go. And while you're at it, hit the like button and leave that great never before heard comment that you're just gonna use a calculator, please. And I'm gonna ask the rest of you, if you see that particular comment, don't give it hate, give it a big like because you are gonna be calculating faster than that person. Okay, have you done that? So let's have a look at the answers. Once again, I'm going to be calculating from the left to the right. And I'm gonna go a bit slower than I usually would if I was calculating these in my head because I'm showing you my thinking as I'm doing it. So first off, 48 multiplied by four. We have 40 times four, which is 160. And to that, we're going to add eight times four, 32. A nice easy answer of 192. Next, we have 67 multiplied by five. 60 times five, 300. And to that, we're gonna add seven times five, which is 35. Our answer, 335. Uh, 69 multiplied by six, that's 60 times six, which is 360. And to that, we're going to be adding nine times six, which is 54. Our answer is going to be 414. Next, we have 78 multiplied by nine. So seven nines are 63, 630. To that, we're going to be adding 72. That's gonna give you a nice easy answer of 702. And finally, 83 multiplied by seven. Okay, that's gonna be 560. And to that, we're going to be adding 21. And you get the great answer of 581. Phew. So anyway, it's a cool trick, right? How did you go? Now, I'd go through and I'd practice about 20 of these if I was you right now. If you're planning on having a look at some of the later mental multiplication tricks that I'm gonna be showing you, because it's a really important thing to be able to do fairly instantly. And here we go, big call to action, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, interact somehow. As usual, a big shout out to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel. And for you, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.